all you beautiful DIY and IOD creatives. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rhonda Church Fenfrock of Fruitful Life Studio, and in this video, I will take thrift store frames and upcycle them into beautiful vintage look boho mirrors. Photographing images on mirrors can prove to be difficult. So I will photograph them at different angles so you can see the effect created by this process. Okay, let's get started with our first mirror transformation. You want to take apart the frame from the glass and get that glass squeaky clean. I use a mixture of one half vinegar, one half water. I put it in a spray bottle, which can also be used to help age the mirror and give it a, a vintage look. I'll show you that later on. For each impression on the back side of the glass, I rolled on a mixture of golden ticket and little black dress using my IOD brayer. Now I'm using pennies from heaven copper patina and rolling it onto a, a distressed edges stamp. This is now retired, but truly any of the IOD texture stamps work really well in this process. The Crecolure, the Distressed, even the Barnwood Planks add that bit of vintage vibe. Now I'm taking my mixture of one half water, one half vinegar, and spraying it onto where I just painted. Now I want not huge droplets, but I want droplets, no mist, because the little droplets are going to repel the looking glass paint and make it look distressed. After spritzing the mirror with the vinegar solution, I give it a light coat of the looking glass paint. Then let it dry about five to 10 minutes and dab with a soft cloth or a shop cloth all the little bubbled up vinegar spots. This is gonna remove some of the looking glass paint, but remember we're building layers here. It's gonna look great. After doing that same process twice, the vinegar spritz, then the looking glass paint and dabbing it back, I decided to add little splashes of color, so I used DIY Farm Fresh. Then let that dry and sprayed it again with the looking glass paint. During this process of layering paint, you'll want to flip the glass over and look from the front. When it's reflective enough for you, it's time to seal the back. I'm using DIY Little Black Dress, and then when that dries, I seal it with DIY Big Top. Then this mirror is ready for framing. Now it's time to work on the frames for these mirrors. I used DIY paint mixed with salt wash powder, IOD molds cast with air dry clay, and DIY paints and patinas to see the process of giving these frames a base coat of weathered wood and salt wash. I will post the link in the description. Salt wash mixed with any paint helps to strengthen and camouflage flaws that exist on these thrift store frames, especially in the corners. I also add molds to the corners to camouflage or hide any gapping. Right now I'm using IOD's Air Dry Clay and the Nautica 2 Decor Mold. Air Dry Clay is great because you can softly mold it and shape it to what you need it to be. You can also trim it like I'm doing here to fit the delicate frame. Music 
I glue my molds on while they're still moist using tight bond quick and thick and then I brush them lightly with some watered down glue just to give it even more durability. I paint the molds and then accent them with the same mixture I stamped the mirrors with, the mixture of Golden Ticket and Little Black Dress. I sealed all the frames with a coat of DIY's Big Top. The stamps I used for these mirrors are retired, but any of the IOD decor stamps would make these mirrors look just as beautiful. This vintage look mermaid mirror I started over on the DIY paint page for my weekly show called Hughes Day Tuesday. I'll post the link to that video in the description. I was in a hurry to get this mermaid mirror in this video as well. So I skipped the salt wash step on the frame. I glued down the molds and added layers of DIY paint. First mermaid tail, then prairie gray, and dry brushed on some faded burlap. Next, I brushed on the golden ticket mixed with a little black dress and then gave it some highlights of the copper patina. I sealed the back of the frame with little black dress and like the other mirrors gave everything a finishing coat of Big Top. To give the frame more definition I used DIY's black wax and then some shipwrecked verdigris wax. When I put the mirror in the frame, I noticed the molds were a little offset from the stamping. I should have aligned them before I glued down the molds. Oh well, I guess that's part of the charm of handcrafted art. For the IOD stamps and molds and DIY paints and patinas, contact your local stockist and retailer or visit my website, fruitfullifestudio.com. Thanks for watching everybody and happy creating.